question is why do we have so much, so many things that are dependent on time? Every day there's a different time that we are supposed to say Kriyat Shema by. Every day there's a different time that you could have in Shachras until. Every day there's a different time you could have Mencha until. Every day there's a different time you could have Marv until. Every Shabbos there's another time that Shabbos starts and Shabbos ends and everything's all, what's with all these times? Pray, you pray when you can pray. You wake up in the morning, you pray. So you wake up 10 o'clock, you pray at 10 o'clock. You wake up at noon, you pray at noon. You start Shabbos, you finish work at 8, and the sun set two hours ago, so you finish, you start Shabbos now. What do you need all these times for? Okay, it's a very important question, and the answer is very, very important to know. That time is not the same. The morning is not the same. God's way that he has the connection to the world is different to his connection in the morning, different to his connection in the afternoon, different connection to nighttime, different connection on Sunday, on Monday, and Shabbos, and the holidays. God is not the same connection with all times and all days. And uh, for instance, uh, according to the words of the Zohar, that's the Kabbalistic uh, writings, a uh, person should have more kavona when he says mincha, the afternoon prayer, than the morning prayer. Because in the afternoon is a time of din, a time of mishpat, a time of God is uh, judging the world sternly. The morning is always a time of rachmim, of, of uh, chesed and rachmim, for mercy and kindness, the afternoon is starting, called Ben Rabbayim, is starting, the shadows are starting to come the other direction until nighttime. Nighttime is a time of din, of, of uh, God is very uh, much, much more strict at nighttime than the daytime. And there's Hanhoga, the way he conducts himself towards the world. So therefore, the Zohar says, we have to have more kavana, we pray mincha than shachris, because it's a time that God is having a different kind of relationship to the world and we have to act accordingly. So every time, every hour of the world is different than the other hour, as explained in the Nefesh Chaim and other swarm of Kabbalah, that it, 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 it's a different relationship every hour, every minute, as a matter of fact, the God's letters of the Aleph base change all the time. It's a different kind of uh, relationship God has to the world. So therefore, we have to act accordingly according to the time that, uh, that is upon us, the way God's relating to us, we have to relate back to him in the right way. Comes to Shabbos, God's rested on the seventh day, that has a several kedusha, that has a several holiness to it. Seventh day started at a certain time, ended at a certain time, and that's when the special kedusha, especially holiness, and therefore we have to act in, within those boundaries of keeping Shabbos, because if we keep at different times, we're not going to get what we're supposed to get and not do what we're supposed to do because the Shabbos has a special holiness to it within the framework of that time for 27 hours, 26 hours, 24 hours, whatever you keep for Shabbos. And uh, because when God rested at that seventh day, he put a certain holiness into the world, which the rest of the week doesn't have that, does not have that holiness. If we don't keep Shabbos to end up with those parameters, we're not going to get out of Shabbos what we could get out of it and we should get out of it. So therefore, we have to realize we are under time, and time is relationship between God, and that time changes constantly. And we have to relate back to God the ways we're relating to us with the different time zones and the different time, uh, times of the day and the different times of the week and different, different months. Every month, every month is a different, is a different uh, a relationship that God has to the Jewish people. Every month is different. The month of Adar is a very happy month. Nisan is a happy month, Tammuz is a very sad month, Av is a very sad month, and therefore we, we, lack, we act the same way. We, have, we fast on Tisha B'Av, we fast on Tammuz, we don't fast on Nisan, we don't fast on Ador, we could fast. So we have to relate to all the times of the months, the days, the, the, the weeks, whatever they are, they have different, this we said the last seven weeks, I, we started off with Chesed, every week you have to work on something different because that week God is having a special relationship with us and we have to react accordingly and responsibly to the way God is showing himself in the world and it's all different and therefore we have to be different. <laughs>
Who can I call? 